hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am here once again to share with you a very powerful trading strategy that will give you a very powerful edge in this trading market either you are trading derive pairs or you are trading forex pairs and before i proceed i want to say once again that i really appreciate all your support your likes your comments and your subscriptions guys they are very very appreciated thank you for supporting us and if you are new you haven't been supporting us before, now please join us because this is a winning team and you don't want to be left out in a winning team so join us subscribe down below give our video a thumbs up you can go through all our videos so that you find a strategy that works perfectly for you because there is no strategy that works 100% perfectly for everyone but you can find a strategy that works 100% perfectly for you because by that time you have mastered everything there is to know about the strategy so go to our videos and look for your own perfect strategy once you click the subscribe button please and please turn on the notification bell because we'll be uploading many more strategies that if you haven't found us, you will eventually whenever we and who knows it might be this one exactly i'm talking about this strategy i have here today <coughs> is a very very powerful strategy this is a strategy that i use personally and i've been making a lot of profit with it also it is a very common strategy out there but most people they don't use but they leave it out in the use in using the strategy because this strategy it can be very very convincing and also there are some false movements with the strategy but if you have mastered the strategy you've been using it strategy, you will know when they are fake out and when to really really enter with the strategy so let me proceed to the indicator settings and i will show i will explain how you can take entries for people asking how to get to the indicators tab just click this icon here once you're on the chart just click on this icon this f icon click on it once you click on the F icon to bring it if you don't have any indicator on your chart before it will show you this it will show you this but if you have any it will see something like this it, it will be less than this and how many indicators you have on your chart so not to worry you can still go to the uh, tab where they are where all the indicators are just click on this icon this one just click on it then you see all the indicators on the mt5 or mt4 app so the indicators we'll be using today first of all we'll be adding our moving averages we can't do without these moving averages because they are very powerful they point us to directions and they help us confirm entries and you know in the forex market you want to be trading in the market's direction only if you have a very powerful strategy that works very well that can tell you when price is about to reverse then you don't need to know the price direction because you are trading price reversal so you just wait for the reversal to happen then you enter with your strategy but if you are trading along with the trend you want to find the indicator that tell you when the when to enter on pullbacks because price always make pullbacks when they are moving so you indicators that tell you the price direction and when to enter on their pullbacks so that you can follow the trend this moving averages help us with all these things so the first moving averages 
put your nine method is exponential you apply it to close then on my chart it is red color you can make the styles any how you like it the third one is moving average period 50 method is exponential you apply it to medium price and we can make the styles any how you like it also the third moving average we are doing is period 200 and the method is exponential you apply to close make the styles any color you like on my chart it is good then we add our leading indicator to our entries this this is the indicator we have been the strategy on and it is called the tdi indicator it is very common out there there are a lot of settings for it but this is the settings i use because i found it to work most perfectly so first of all you add rsi to your chart the period of the rsi 13 apply to close style you make it any color you like just make sure it is visible then you add these three levels 80 20 50 and that's all then you come back and click on the rsi indicator window and add moving average to it you had to uh, move average period two method is simple apply to previous indicators data and make the style a different color to the rsi so that you can see boots clearly you add another moving average period seven method is simple apply to previous indicators data give it a visible color also then you add bollinger bands Bollinger bands period 34, the deviation is 1.618. Shift 0, apply it to first indicators data. Please and uh, please notice all this apply, apply, apply that we are all the places we are applying the indicators to because they are not the same. You apply some to previous indicator, you apply some to first indicator. So note all this because they are if you don't apply them properly. You won't get the be the perfect and exact results of the moving of the indicators. So the last indicator we add on our TDI is moving average period thirty, period thirty four. Sorry, the method is simple. Apply it to first indicators data. Then you click done. That's all. That's all the settings for our TDI. These are our TDI indicator here. And these are the moon averages we added on the chart. So, how do you take entries? How do you take trades with these moon averages? Well, identify your the trend you are. Maybe you are in a downtrend. You want to trade against that trend. Okay. So, once you identify your in this example, I'm going to show you why the Vic Vic and and see the good moving white the price and the black and red moving are If we are in a downtrend, then the good moving will be above, and the black and red moving average will be below. That means we are in a downtrend, but we are in the uptrend in this example. That's the first thing. The second thing you want to note is on the TDI indicator. When price is coming down, yeah. When price is we're in a downtrend, so but when price is making reversals, like sorry, when price is making pullbacks, you know, no line. Up, then you it will just come down small maybe to gather some more orders or to stop out some then to go back up what price is making such pullbacks see on the tdi indicator you will see something like this you want to wait for the black and the red line to come outside the Bollinger Band, like you see here, as you can see, price was going up. It, it 
came down here then came down here again but on the on our tda indicator you want to see price the two lines the green and the black lines that's the rsi line and the two period moving average you want to see both of them pop out of the bullet that's the second thing you note once you see them pop out then you wait for price to start continuing the trend then by then by the time price is continuing the trend you will have seen the moving average the two lines the black and green lines that pop out they are already going back inside the bollinger bands Not sure you see them going back inside because most times they take long outside they might be going going down and they won't come down they won't go back inside until much later make sure you note that they're already going back inside then look to the chart and wait for this crossover you want to wait for the black and red movement to cross over in your direction in your trading direction that's when you enter your trade you enter your trade and you apply proper risk management to your chart so that you won't blow you won't be risking too much and blow your account you can take your feet anywhere you like it i hope you understand what i just explained let me show you this second an example where the moving average crossover is very very important as you can see when price was going up, it came down. During this pull thing here, the two lines on our TDI they already pop out. Then they went back inside the Bollinger Band, right? They went back inside the Bollinger Band, but our moving averages they haven't crossed back to the upside. You don't take it. Even though the two lines are already back inside Bollinger Band, since our moving average on the chart, they haven't crossed, you wait until you see that crossover. Until you see that crossover. Once you see the crossover, you, you enter your trade, set your stop loss, and your take profit. This is a very indicator if you don't follow the rules like this example you have around below this and pop out the two lines the moving averages on the chart cross over in your direction that's when you take your entry let me show you how to sell with this strategy and one more thing when you won't be taking trade if you are in a sell market as you can see two lines are back inside from the top average they are crossing over both the good moving average you won't take any trade here because the a cross over a cross over here and that's when you want to take a valid entry you want to see a crossover here something like this you want to see a crossover below the gold line so if you are seeing a cross a sell crossover when price is above the gold line then that is, is very very invalid don't enter that trade don't enter that trade this is another example here price it was a little cross but that's what we are waiting for but outside the bullinger band they already come back inside 
and the, mo the moon value is crossed it's not add this is another example all this happen here Just make sure you follow the rules, guys. And then the two lines already came out for the Bollinger Bands, and they are already back inside. But our moon rate, they have not cross. So wait, wait for them to cross. Once you see the crossing, you take your trade. Manage your trade because there will be losses. losses and this is the this is the price as at now uh, make sure let me repeat the rules again if you are in a uptrend or you are in a downtrend you want to see the crossover happening along with the trend you are um, like in this example, we're in the downtrend, right? You want to see the two moonaries, the gold and the black and red moonary below this gold moonary in the downtrend, right? Then you want to see a TDI indicator. You want to see them pop out to the upside. You want to see them pop out to the upside on the indicator because that's indicating overbought and when price is overbought then we are going we are looking for sell trades and since we are in a downtrend we are looking for sell trades once you see pop out and they are already coming back inside the Bollinger Bands you wait for the moving averages to cross once you see the crossing you take your trade very simple you take your trade there and you set your stop loss and take profits. I will advise one to two or one to three risk manage risk to the world management so that you make so guys I don't if you want to use this time set up it is the same rules and the same things you look really long already i don't want to be going i don't want to be examples so apply this strategy on your demo account demo trade to make profits guys powerful strategy i use it personally and i have been making once again thanks for your support and thank you in advance for me support guys thank you very much